Let's get started. So let's jump into the practicals and try to understand what exactly is UiPath. So the tool that you see in front of you, that's what UiPath is. What is that? This is nothing but it's an RPA tool, Robotics or Process Automation tool. There are a lot of uh, tools that we have. Uh, like Blue Prism, we have we have uh, UiPath, we have Automation Anywhere, we have Work Fusion. You can see here, this is what is Blue Prism, and then um, this Automation Anywhere, and somewhere we will also be having the um, other uh, things. But, well, the topic for today is uh, UiPath. We'll try to explore UiPath and see the interface and uh, try to understand, compare it with the other tools. And I'll just give you some basic, very basic demonstration how it looks like. All right, let's, so let's get started. So basically this is the interface as you can see here as uh, compared with uh, Blue Prism or any other tool, you have the same, pretty much the same thing like sequence, uh, flowchart in Blue Prism, you've got like processes and objects. So pretty much the same thing here. So you create a sequence and then uh, like flowchart, you can uh, call that sequence inside a flowchart. What exactly is a sequence flowchart? These are all very basic kind of mappings you can say, which map uh, what I need to do for example, let's say I have to make a coffee So I want to drink a coffee then how do you drink a how do you make a coffee? So so first boil milk That's the first step then you put sugar then you put coffee So these are step-by-step -step processes. That's what a mapping is. It's a very very easy thing I mean uh, even a kid can understand it shouldn't be a big deal. So anyway, this is uh, what it is now the basic what the the most important feature that makes this tool quite unique is the recording feature uh, although we have recording feature in a lot of other tools like in automation anywhere we got recording uh, in many other tools but this one is quite great quite advanced and it supports a lot of browsers like Firefox is supported and uh, Chrome is supported uh, so 80 percentage of users are Chrome right so that's uh, that, that's a great thing blue prism doesn't doesn't support internet sorry it doesn't support chrome it does only it supports internet explorer so that's a negative for that now anyway so talking about this is how it looks like guys so it's quite simple as you can see here it's a very basic thing so for example um, you can create a lot of stuff it's it's very basic and simple for the, let's say if I go ahead and create a sequence and just say a text sequence I say okay access is denied one second I have to set the access part anyway that's uh, we will, will uh, this in this session we'll just see uh, the overall look and feel and in the next sessions we'll be talking about uh, step by step I'm gonna walk you through like how it looks like and how, how you're going to create different processes and you got many objects here you can see here there are many many different things for example like uh, get tags or uh, type into you can see here many many stuff is there in UI automation so the best thing about this tool is you will see that there are a lot of libraries that are already there so you can use most of them that makes it quite powerful all right and um, uh, pinging plus uh, you can have you can pretty much automate anything everything that you see so let's say putting data from sap applications or the, you're dealing with mainframe machines so anything as well as let's say you have a lot of manual activities in transactional systems so you want to automate that uh, to reduce the uh, time to increase the efficiency and the accuracy if you want to do that you can also do that same thing right so you can see many things so see this one filtering collection using link we'll be talking about this uh, uh, in the future things uh, well I just so you can see here this one a particular flow chart this is how it looks like you got a start then you add different things assign and then perform steps a lot of stuff we do so right and um, you can see here in the browser when uh, let me show you so if you want to use this in a browser, then you need an extension. So this is the extension, as you can see here, uh, UiPath. You have to add it. And, well, that's free. You can get it in internet. And you similarly you have extensions for Chrome, sorry, uh, Firefox, all right? So you have to get that. And then you can uh, record, when you're recording, you can record, you can see here. So you can do a basic recording, desktop, web, when I say web is Mozilla or Chrome and other browsers are also supported. 
and then yeah what's more important is you can do a recording on the Citrix applications which is quite great I mean uh, because um, a lot of companies most of the infrastructure is managed under a Citrix uh, environment that's the infrastructure so this this support is quite great and it works very precisely finally with that so that's the thing and um, a basic thing so let's say if you want to record on a basic so you can do pretty much anything let's say if I want to do on a calculator so let's say I open the calculator and I want to record that so yeah, let's see you click on record all right it's quite simple uh, you go here and just say then you have to record the particular elements all right and um, you can do a lot of things I mean you can capture the particular element so for people who are not aware of elements it's uh, so see the logic is like this whatever you see in the windows so everything like you see this browser you see this you see this you see uh, anything that you see there are elements uh, behind the scenes all right now if you want to automate this is how it's done you have to identify the elements and then you need to uh, program on that thing now is it something um, special for UiPath no no it's not nothing it's nothing new for UiPath because um, I have worked with many automation tools I if I name some then I will see blue prism and um, then got automation anywhere then got UiPath then um, like uh, work fusion and I do a lot of web scrapping as well so I work on things like zero poster then uh, Ubot and you just count there are so many automation tools that are available and uh, you will see all of them work on the same principle they capture the element and then they automate on the basis of that thing in fact you can also create your own tool using Seesaw doing the same thing in fact this uh, most of the thing that you see in UiPath it's built around I, I, I'm not sure but I think it's built around C sharp uh, most of these interfaces plus um, and you will see like these things are quite simple and quite common you will see you got loops you got assignments decision tasks um, they are all the same thing I mean if you have studied C language in your high school or um, something like if you have some knowledge on what is if then else what is for loop so it's pretty much the same thing here the only thing is it's quite simple this tool as you can see the interface is quite smooth and uh, it's uh, uh, for example see this is how you create it so sequence and then um, as you can see here you can even interact with a table uh, of course like interacting with databases that's already there with uh, most of the RPA tools it's nothing new but this one makes it quite simple and easy okay right and then we've got launch Explorer right this is quite important you will see we I will talk about this thing later but um, this this is very important uh, the UI Explorer and the variables of course is a very common concept in any any tool any language in the world so that's the same thing then user events then uh, data scrapping so it's the same thing we already discussed data scrapping is nothing but uh, just so the browser the elements that you want to scrap and that's it so it just captures that element and that's it so you can parameterize it loop it and stuff like that makes it very powerful right so I will say still I will say the most important thing is the recording part and yeah the, the most important thing coming to the point I created a separate uh, video on installation of this UI path which is very simple now you know what what's really good for you is it's free all right you don't have to pay anything to download UI path it's completely free you, just, you can just go ahead and register in their um, just go and type UI path but community edition download just say download go to their site and register you get a 60 day trial I think 60 days enough you can even renew it right so a lot of things 
All right, so I'll I'll just um, thank you for uh, watching this stuff and just check out the next videos that I'm preparing. That will be a series where I'll be discussing on all the things. So step by step, I'm gonna walk you through all the different um, things that are there in UI path. And of course, if you're interested in uh, like other RPA tools like Blue Prism or Automation Anywhere or Fusion, then I've also created a series for that. You can check that thing as well. And if you like me, if you like what I said, if you love me, then please share, comment, like, subscribe. Thanks guys. Thank you very much for getting tuned.